Schmidt takes a loose puck and skates away from Gantus. He's got a breakaway opportunity, forehand, backhand, and it goes in. Kyle Schmidt on a breakaway goal, slides one underneath Frankie Marat, and just 30 seconds into the game, Bentley has a 1-0 lead after Schmidt breaks through the top defensive pair of Gantus and Israel for a score. Yeah, he knows what he's doing, and uh, I'm curious on and that with Tim, did he delay that on purpose? Bentley has it. Or did he kind of fail on it? No, he just uh, had the patience to go to the backhand and extend the puck beyond the reach of Marat's leg. Kyle Schmidt's a 49th career goal. He knows what he's doing when he gets in that close. Here's Marchand across the offensive blue line, leaving it for Callen, taken away by Dorwitz. Two on one chance, shorthanded here. Here's Tanj on right wing. On the backhand, feeds Dorwitz, crashes in, saved by Argue. Trying to make a move between Banje and Jenny, but they converge. Backhand shot anyway from Callen, and a save by Frankie Marat. Three seconds left. Now Ferguson with a chance, clipped in by Tanj. Head up from Brady, pass to Tanj, tries to dig it off the backhand, but couldn't elevate. Pretty pass from Brady, but Tanj couldn't do much with it. Too close to the goaltender. These no. tight, grinding playoff kind of games. Jenny, a tight pass to Perkusic. He tries to turn on the Jets. There you go. Had a chance to get by Marchand. Tried to pull up on the... Not again, Perkusic waving at it, just shoving it wide. Now Giles looks for an angle, looks for an alley. Can't get it through. That hit Marchand in the midsection. Giles tries on another shot. Boy, he hammered that one hard. Off of McDonald, who's slow to get up. Shot from Perkusic and a score. Finally. Nick Perkusic elevating the puck. Gets a goal. We're tied up at 1-1. One one. March me down to the seven seas. We got ourselves a tie hockey game. And Timmy wasn't quite in the slot, but he was Blue. just but he crashes to the, the right of the end. slot. In the scoring zone and uh, finally able to get some good wood on a puck and deliver. That's probably the... Seventh or eighth scoring chance that Prakusic has had. And boy, he roofed that one and got the water bottle. <laughs> that was just, pretty. Saved the best for last, apparently. It's 1-1. And that's the kind of contribution that you need. You wouldn't expect a freshman such as Prakusic to carry a game for you. But when they're playing out and opportunities keep coming his way, you got to cash one sooner or later. He did there, and uh, it's a new hockey game. He wants a return pass. Doesn't come, though. Santerno keeps it in his possession. Backhands it over to Callan. Now he gets it to Soloviev. Over to Callan again, looking things over. Ferguson keeping an eye on him. Israel putting a stick in the passing lane to try to take that away. Soloviev tees up a shot, instead decides to go for a pass. Callan wrist shot, goes off the glove of Marat and a score. Following up, it looked like it was Schmidt again. Did he get it? I think Santerno. Or did Santerno get it? For Santerno, that would be his sixth goal and 18th point. And right on cue, Mike, that's exactly what happened on the power play. Yeah, that's just a rebound that, that trickled away from Marat. And uh, Santerno able to beat Eli Gantus and Marat to it and shove it in on the far side. And that's the Bentley power play in a nutshell. Uh, shot from the circle. And then you see. Yeah, if he didn't get it, Schmidt would have. As we're watching the replay, uh, yeah, Santerno kind of took it away from Schmidt. It was coming off the right half wall. Tanj looking things over, pokes it up the half wall. Now with some speed, here comes Ferguson down the right wing. Brady tries to make a move, drop pass for Moore, and said, shot to score! Oh, Timmy Moore, a gorgeous shot! And that is the all-time leading assist for Brady Ferguson on a dr great drop pass. It's 2-2, two two. RMU has retied it. I'm descending again. The Colonials have dotted this one up at 2-2. Two and set the record mark for Robert Morris, all-time assist leader, Brady Ferguson. It's his 21st the season, and he passes Nathan Longpre for the all-time record. Boy, Longpre would be proud of that one. Shot to score! Longpre would be proud of that one, too. And if there are a couple of guys who are going to get cute, Tim, it should be Brady Ferguson and Tim Moore and maybe throw Tanj in because that line has been so incredibly hot of late. And uh, what a pretty play, and what a great shot by oh, Moore. Over the glove, just under the crossbar. Just saw it again, Mike. Great shot by Tim Moore. Can't do an overloaded right side of the ice. Lombardozzi's shot is deflected. It's loose dangerously in the slot. Marat trying to locate. Oh, it just barely stayed out. Oh, it looked like Debian. You see Debian there trying to fall backwards and uh, tee up a shot, just never quite got to him. He's trying to create time and space for himself. That's what Tanj is doing here. Good feed across the ice to Ferguson. Shot, wow. score! Oh, was that pretty! Alex Tanj to Brady Ferguson as he gets goal number 12 on the season, and RMU is in front, three to two. Let it all ride! The Colonials are in front. 
Great vision by Taj. More, he gets a well, hamburger. We have seen him drive left to right toward the net a couple of times in this period. That time he had an opportunity to do so, but he pulled up and saw Ferguson at the right circle. And then Tim Ferguson holding that puck just for a second. Left, argue, leaning back against the post. And uh, he's watching over the bench here. Soderquist there he goes. to hold on. And now he comes with 128 left to go. So an extra attacker on. This is how RMU scored yesterday, and now they score. Oh, Luke Santorno picked up a rebound, and for the second time in as many nights, a six-on-five goal with the goalie pulled. This time it's Bentley that does it, and Santorno gets his second goal this weekend and his sixth of the season. Yeah, Colonial's getting kind of gassed there. Now it go down as a six-on-five goal, but I don't think the sixth guy was even in the play. Santorno just where he's been all weekend. Are they going to challenge this for too many men or something? Uh, are they going to look for goalie interference? And goalie inter I thought I saw right away Derek Schooley called the officials over and argue was slow getting off and the other skater was quick getting on. I thought that might have been the contention, but now they're going to look yeah. at it for goalie interference, Mike. Uh, there's think? no goalie interference. Uh, McDonald uh, was wall skating. From right to left, turn over to Moore. He's got oh, a chance to hit Watt. Watt in a breakaway, comes in with Argue. Shot and a save by Argue with the blocker. Seconds left to go, shot comes in. One more chance from Bonje if it can hurry up with five seconds left. Deflected in, shot goes towards Argue by Tanj, but it doesn't go in the net. A little check at the end and that'll do it. Three to three, the final score. Leave the tab open at the ground round. We got ourselves a tie, so Robert Morris and Bentley worked their way to a draw in this game. Three to three the final, three out of four points of the weekend for RMU against the Falcons.